Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix here with you now in episode 30 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we did the treasure chest game and stuff, and we got a piece of heart from that, so yay on that. And now, for the first time in the longest time ever, we are going to advance the story plot here. I know, I know, it's very shocking, since I haven't done that since... I don't even remember how long it's been now. But we are actually... Shut up, Nabby. Uh, I should probably do that, but I feel like it. Uh, yeah. So we are moving on, finally, to a new area, which will be up this river, actually. And if you call Soraya like Nabby's been telling us to, then she will tell you to go up this way. So we are just going here now. And this is Zora's River. Hmm, interesting name. Uh, there's some grass here you can cut and stuff, and... Oh my god, no! Shut up now. Hoo-hoo. Looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Argon. Just ahead lies Zora's domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule's royal family, yet by protecting the water source. The door will not open for anyone except those who who have some connection to the royal family of Hyrule. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoot. Well, okay, thanks for that, but there's probably a Triforce symbol up when I have to play it anyways, so that... So that information you just gave me was pretty much completely useless. Thank you, Mr. K-Port Gabora. Anyways, the first thing to do is roll into this tree, and you get a skull left for that. Just be sure not to get hit by it, like I just did so stupidly. But at least it didn't fall on me, because that would have just been annoying. So anyways, we want to bomb this thing. Watch it go boom! And we're going to go ahead and... And, oh, it's night time. That's kind of good, because there's some sculptures that can be had around here. Anyways, what you want to do is you want to come over here, and you want to pick... No, not pick... Don't pick up the rock, Link. I, I want to pick up the cuckoo. I want to pick up the cuckoo. Thank you. And you're going to want to... Well, first, fly across the river like this, because that's how you move on in the area. Because if you go the other way, then you'll just be... You'll, you'll be blocked off by a fence. Um, okay, so... Hop over here... Now you want to f oh, that looks see. There's a heart piece up there. We're gonna get that pretty soon here. You want to fly down here, wee, and head over here, and you'll see that there's a ledge blocking our way. What do you do now? Since so you can't climb a ledge with a chicken in arm, so you want to throw it up there and get up and run up and pick it up before it gets a chance to run away. And don't throw it, preferably. Okay, and throw that up there now. And yeah. Okay, so once you're up here with the chicken, you're going to want to kind of see... Oh, I can't go into first person view, but you, you want to fly over here to this platform here, which cannot be accessed any other way at the moment. And you will find that there is a ladder here, right over here. So you don't need that chicken anymore. Don't worry about it. It's not like I'm going to ask you to, like, cuckoo juggle the chicken up the ladder. And wow, did you see that? It, like, flew up there. That, that was the same chicken. It just, like, flew up the entire cliff. That's awesome. Oh, it's morning already? Wow. Okay, so there's a hole over here. You can go down if you want. And down here, there is a gossip stone and a chest. Yay! Uh, how much you want to bet? It's just five rupees. Oh, 20 rupees. My bad. Well, pardon me. And we'll step onto the rainbow telepad. And we're going to go over here. And there's a bumble rock here. A blow up a bull rock. So we're going to set a bomb and watch it go boom! Yay! And fall down this other hole that's just been unveiled. And, oh, there's a fairy's fountain here. We don't really need that, do we? Oh, my God. That was like a close up on Link's neck. He, like, tilted up. It's like, hey, look at my neck. I don't have an Adam's apple. I'm not a real man. Anyways, do so you want to take this chicken, this cuckoo? And you'll see this little narrow ledge here. You just want to cross it carefully, like that. And there's a gossip stone there. And from here, you can actually fly down to this heart piece. I don't think this is the way that they meant you to get it, but... Who knows, it could be. But don't, don't let the cuckoo get away quite yet. God damn it. Okay, I'll go back to the start of the river and get another cuckoo, that's fine. Whoa, there's a 20 rupee, I mean a red rupee under that bridge. Holy cow, oh my god, no, no, what? I, I forgot about this, every time you leave and come back into the area, this guy talks to you again, and you, this is like the only time that you cannot skip any of his dialogue at all, and he says the exact same thing every single fucking time, let me out of here, uh. okay, 
Uh, so anyways, with that heart piece that we just got, we only need two more to complete that heart container. And we can get two more before the next dungeon, and in this area, as a matter of fact. Well, in, one in this area and one in the Zora's Domain that Cape Horror Gabor told us about. Anyway, so we're gonna head back up here, since we so stupidly let that chicken get away from us. And now we've just been set back like a good minute or so. Yay for setbacks. Except not. So we're gonna fly over here like this. And yeah, basically we're repeating the same thing, except we're not gonna fly down to that ladder. We're just gonna... Oh my god, lag. Fail, 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 fail. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I almost got hit with that Octorock Rock. Octorock Rock? What would you call that? Would that be like just like an Octorock? Or would it be a rock? I... Oh, that's too much for my brain to comprehend. And I have a big brain. Oh... So anyways, uh, I hope you I hope you guys don't do that, Link. Oh, it fell off the edge again. Oh my god, come back. Come back, chicken. No, don't don't go in the water, chicken. Oh my god. Did that really just happen? What? 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 I don't I don't know what just happened, but okay. Um, you know what, I'm just going to skip that cuckoo thing for now. It'll last us to get another heart piece, but I think I can just skip that for now. And now it's night time again. Man, day goes by so fa day and night go by so fast in this area, don't they? So anyways, yeah, like I was saying, I hope you guys like that speed montage of failure at the treasure chest game. And then, as you probably saw if you watched it all the way to the end, I did end up getting heart piece eventually, but it was way after the recording. I think I was like a good few hours after the recording. See, you could, if we brought a cuckoo all the way here, then you could get that heart piece, but we don't have a cuckoo with us right now. Oh, but you can hear a skulltula, and that skulltula happens to be down here. So let's just get this while we're here. And no, I didn't forget about that one. Ah, uh, so anyways. Now we're up at this big giant frickin' waterfall blocking our way, and oh look, there's a symbol on the ground here. So let's play Zelda's Lullaby to prove our connection to the royal family of Hyrule. Yay. And with it, and with that, the waterfall clears a path for us. I am Moses, parter of falls. Parter of water, rather. And we enter the Zora's Domain. Oh, listen to this music, man. I could just listen to this all day long. Or pr probably not, because it would make me fall asleep eventually. It's just that soothing and nice. So anyways, this is a very nice place. It's very aquatic, as you can see. And there's this race of people here that called the Zoras. So, well, they're not people then, they're Zoras. And here is the Zora shop. You can go in here if you want. And you can talk to this guy, and he's like, Welcome to the tropical island paradise of Isle Delfino. Okay, who are you? We are the Zora, the proud aquatic people. I thought you were Zoras, but so you can't be people. Well, whatever. Whatever, dude. You don't make any sense. You suck. I'm hot here with rupees and sketch. Rupees and sketch. Anyways, what you want to do first here is, well, we're going to need a Deku Dick for this, so let's pull that out right now. And you want to head up here, and up here, you will see this big gluttonous monstrosity, which is also known as King Zora. We'll talk to him later. Right now, we need to take a Deku Dick and light it on fire here, and bring it down to this torch. This nice little wooden torch. Uh, there's a lot of torches in this place for being such a nice little watery area. So anyways, now you want to take this fire, and you want to roll quickly down here, down this way. And don't worry, rolling in this shallow water over here will not put out your Deku stick. Oh my god, I forgot to do this. No. What? It doesn't normally run out that fast. What the hell was that? Well, I think lighting a torch actually might renew it. I, so that's something I never knew ab about, but whatever. It might be true, because I've seen people do it without having to stop and relight their dick. That was a very strange sentence. Okay, so that's one. Yeah, see, it doesn't 
put out your stick even though it should. That's two. Now you want to go along the edge here. If you go any deeper in, then your digger dick will go, will unlight itself, I guess. Uh, oh, it looks like we're getting just in the nick of time because we're all just about out of time here. So we're going to open this chest. And this is one of the three heart pieces that I wanted to get in this episode. We missed one, unfortunately, because the cuckoos were being stupid. Well, no, the cuckoos weren't being stupid. I was being stupid. That's a piece of heart, so yeah. I guess that that's that for this episode. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. We managed to get to a new area finally after a good 10, 10 plus episodes. So that's that for this. Thank you for watching, and this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.